you know, we're happy with it, you know, the end of the game So, Lovey was really adamant about making sure that we don't look at the scoreboard and treat it as if it's 0-0, because it basically was, you know, and they were playing their best football at that time. Um, but just to make sure that we did everything we could to put them away. Uh, what is it about you guys and the second half? Just what kind of light turns on, or how does that happen? Um, I don't know. Like, I mean, I, I, shoot, I don't know. I guess, like I said, when we see people making plays, everybody feels that personal responsibility to be their part in making plays also. You know? Like I said, when Dele gets the, the pick six and Nate gets the pick six, you're just like, geez, like, I need to add to this win too. You know? Everybody feels that. And then when everybody's feeling it, everybody does their part. When everybody does their part, you see what happens. You know, the team's 38 to 10. So. Thank you. Josh, I know you're capable of making some big plays. You have made big plays this year. Is this what you envisioned happening when you chose to come to Illinois? Uh, yeah. I've, I feel like I've always seen myself as someone that makes plays, and I'm happy that it's all starting to come together. You know, I'm thankful and grateful that I've had the opportunities. And, uh, yeah. I know out of the three that came from USC, you're the only one that seems to still be upright and not injured at the moment. But, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. but just, you know, the, the 52 yard touchdown pass that Brandon said he saw an opening and he decided to go for it. Yeah. Just what were you thinking? I mean, did you see that same opening and you just decided to go for it? Yeah, so the guy was pressed and. Um, the play is actually designed to go to the inside receiver, but since he's pressed, I was one-on-one -on -one with, with the corner. You know, gave him a really hard stick inside, got him open up, burst it vertically, and it's all open. Like he, like he said, threw me the ball. So, yeah. Josh, when do we stop? I asked this to Brandon. When do we stop laughing or talking about Brandon's ability to run like it's a like it's a shock? It seems like this is part of this is the offense. If yeah. they're not going to take him away, yeah, no, definitely. That definitely get like sh like shocks and electricity in the offense. Seeing him run, I was like, heck yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Um, I thought he was like honestly. I didn't. I don't know. I was thinking a lot of things like when he was running like. I didn't think that he was going to get that far. I thought he was about to get tackled, then kept up running. He was like, oh, shoot, he might score. He almost scored. He didn't score. You know, so uh, it was it was awesome seeing him run. I just, it keeps on surprising us, you know, every time he uh, runs with the football. Do so. you feel like not only for you guys as a whole, but for him, that just builds his confidence that he's able to, it seems like these last three weeks that, you know, I'm picking up four or five yards, and that's that's getting me in the game, and getting me a groove, getting me at least in the groove. Yeah, definitely, exactly. That's what's happening, exactly. Like getting into the groove, getting into the groove. So Rock can feel comfortable calling plays, and he feels comfortable calling plays. You're able to get the playmakers, and they, they make the plays, and they score touchdowns, put drives together. So yeah, that's exactly what it is. Getting into the groove. Must be fun in that locker room now, especially during this three-game winning streak. Just just what's the mood and, uh, lately? I mean, in the locker room, it's a lot more relaxed, probably. Yeah, yeah, definitely. A lot, a lot more like jovial. And people are just looking forward to the future, man. The confidence is starting to build, and they're starting to believe in what they do. Practice was extremely competitive last week. I can only imagine how competitive it's going to be this week. You know what I mean? So it's awesome, you know, and I'm, I'm so grateful to be a part of it. That's going I know Levy mentioned it, but, you know, you guys are one win, win away from bowl eligibility. Just what's that mean coming from, you know, a program that, you know, you saw this program. Obviously, you knew what this program's been like in the last three, four years. Hasn't even been close to bowl eligibility, but now you guys are one win away from it. Yeah. I think it's... It's a new day, you know, it's a new era, and um, some, some special's going on here, you know, and um, not even just bowl eligibility, man, we can, I feel like we can mm -hmm. like, go above and beyond that and get to a pretty good bowl. Mm -hmm. But like I said, you know, in order to do that, we have to take the game by game. Yeah, man, this is awesome. Thanks, Josh.